time, it's time, it's time. And this time we're going to look at something that uh, from Fisher. We're looking at it from uh, the black side for once. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And Fisher against D4, was, he played a couple different openings, but probably his favorite was the King's Indian as his most aggressive, like me. So knight c3, bishop g7. And the first note is Fisher played it in this provocative way with castles here, which gives an extra idea for white to play e5 and then f4. And we've actually transposed into a sideline of another variation of the King's Indian called the Four Pawns Attack. So, coming back, if d6 here and f4, we can see the transposition take place. Knight e8, c5, and much like we'll see in the main game, we are sacrificing pawns in order to accelerate our development. Notice how black is completely developed, white is not. Queen a5, and I found this line forcing and interesting for both sides. A relatively equal position, but I'm inclined to like black a little bit better just because I'm biased. What can I say? So coming back, castles, knight e8, d6, c5, knight c6. So the first question is, what happens if he ignores it? Well, I'm going to play bishop g4 and get development still. Bishop e2, grab, and I'm not concerned about the exchange because you're going to get wicked play and active piece development. So it's pretty solid. So after knight c6, if c takes d6 like the game, knight e4, tickle tickle on the knight. If knight takes, grab, grab, no grab, keep the tension. And after f6, we see how again all of black's pieces come alive. Now. Fisher being the aggressive type player that he was, does it make sense how this is like right up his alley trying to win with black? Giving up pawns or giving up positional concessions in order to just develop as fast as you can because, what did you say again? What was what was the Fisher quote? Something about a superior position? Uh-huh, huh? Tactics flow from a superior position. That's what's up. So after bishop f5, tickle on the knight, knight g3, Tickle on the bishop. Bishop's like, no, I don't want you to mess up the pawn structure by taking. Knight f3. Putting pressure on the e5 pawn. Still doesn't want to take. Queen b1. And notice the awkwardness of white's pieces. Here comes the pain. Take. And e4. Piece for a piece. threatening f4, forking the pieces. So white does it himself. Now the knights go into greener pastures. Getting the rook involved, hitting the weakness. The end is near. Every single one of black's pieces are coordinated in this attack. Harmonious. Mm, that's got to be the word of the day. Bishop f3. Get you some. Rook takes e3. Rook takes. And you're like, but that was all the rooks. Queen takes f4. Now, isn't this free? Is, is it not, not free? But don't you just get maiden after he sacrifices everything so beautifully? If you're not satisfied yet with the Fisher games, I, I hope I hope that tactical combination did it for you, because uh, that was a good one. That was uh, what, what does one of my friends say? Caliente. <laughs> <laughs>